Well, the bye weekend has come and gone, and so it's time to focus on this week's challenge. A trip up to Sydney to take on the reigning premiers at the SCG on Friday night. The Sydney Cricket Ground holds no fears for the Blues, with our most recent performance at the iconic venue in Round 6 2011, resulting in a memorable 16-point victory. Blues fullback Michael Jamison will become the first player in the number 40 Guernsey to play 100 games when he runs out against the Swans this Friday night. Despite the significance of the achievement, the reliable defender says it's not something that he's taken too much notice of. Uh, it's a little bit funny, I think. I've tried to you know, not really focus on it too much, but you know, when we just celebrated you know, Scotto's 250th and Juddy's 250, it's sort of hard to get too excited about a 100th, but I guess uh, at the end of the year I'll, I'll look back on it and, and be really proud. Andrew Carazzo and Chris Yaron will both be in the mix for Friday night's match, while Hard as Nails midfielder Mitch Robinson looks to have overcome a shoulder complaint. On a sad note, the Carlton Football Club is mourning the loss of Corporal Cameron Baird, MG, a 32-year-old member of the 2nd Commando Regiment killed in a firefight in Afghanistan last Saturday afternoon. Corporal Baird was the son of Doug Baird, a six-game player through 1969 and the Premiership year of 1970. The Carlton footballers will wear black armbands into Friday night's match as a mark of respect for the late Corporal Baird. And finally, Mark Murphy resumed training earlier this week in a bid to be ready for the Blues' Round 15 match against Collingwood at the MCG. The skipper is also auctioning off the boots he wore in his 150th game, with all proceeds raised going to his charity of choice, the Make a Difference Foundation. Be sure to visit the club's website to place your bid.